um, yesterday, Fatass45 tweeted a video <clears throat> of a man on a New York subway platform shoving and injuring a white woman. In normal times, it would have been unfathomable to, de to determine why the fat ass um, of the United States would take an interest in this case. The assault took place about a year ago, and the perpetrator was arrested in short order. But the actual source of, um, of the fat ass 45's interest is perfectly obvious. The perpetrator was black and the victim white. The video was shared and seems to have come to um, fat ass 45's attention by an account called I'm with, with Groiper. For those unfamiliar with Groipers, it's a white supremacist um, sec um um, sector who criticized other far right far right groups for failing to be explicitly pro white. Um, Fat ass forty five has a has a way of wearing down journalists by violating norms so often in social media that it ceases to be newsworthy. During the twenty sixteen campaign, when he shared a white supremacist image using a Jewish star to depict Hillary Clinton as being brought and controlled by the Jews, it caused enough of a controversy that that um Fat ass forty five's campaign was forced to insist it had somehow mistaken the image for a share of star, which it didn't, which we knew it wasn't that. But fat ass, but fat ass forty five has retweeted enough decontextualized random videos of non-white people attacking white people. Indeed, he shared the same 2019 subway attack clip in June that it has lost its shock value, but it, but it is this very b b banality that makes um, fat-ass 45's behavior so significant. The, fa the, f um, the fake president is in the habit of promoting a wide array of his... Uh, uh, um, yeah, pr pr promoting a wide array of his of, of his inbred supporters, and we have grown accustomed to the fact that some of those supporters are well Nazis. We already knew that. Last week, Mary Ann Mendoza was removed at the last minute from the Republican National Convention after a reporter discovered she had promoted anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. Perhaps Mendoza was confused as to why it was acceptable to promote racist theories that smear a population of recent immigrants as inherently criminal yet unacceptable to promote. Racist theories that target a population of early 20th century immigrants as inherently criminal, or maybe she failed to understand why the fake president is allowed to endorse Nazi propaganda, but she is not. Perhaps even more confusing is the fate of Marjorie Taylor Greene, a Republican nominee for Congress in Georgia, and an avid proponent of QAnon. In addition to even generalizing for the notorious um, conspiracy theory that is uh, that is advocated publicly by ten fellow Republican congressional nominees, Taylor Greene has promoted racist and anti-Semitic videos and other social media content herself. Last week, Media Matters found that she has promoted a far-right video that features anti-Muslim propaganda. She quotes an anti-Semitic Holocaust denier saying that Zionist, um, that Zionist supremacists have schemed to promote immigration and mis and mis and mis mis um generation, and as one reporter wrote, implies that Jews are the heart of a project to destroy Europe as we know it. The next day, she attended um Fat S forty five's Republican um um national convention acceptance speech at the White House lawn. Is forty five is forty is Fat S forty five a Nazi? Not exactly. He does embrace a certain fascist aesthetic, elevating strength over all other values. He re he re he reportedly asked for his inauguration. To include a military parade, I want tanks and choppers. Make it look like North Korea, citing the world's most totalitarian state as his visual model. He often speaks as though he's Dwight Schrute being tricked into reading bits from a Mussolini speech. But Fat S forty, but Fat S forty five's evocation of racist troops is not Nazism exactly. It is better described as Nazi adjacent. He has activated and energized open white supremacists who, for the first time in decades, have been given a fake president who reflects the same values that they do very closely enough to inspire open defense. If you if you peruse Nazi propaganda sites that contain defenses of of Fat S forty five and such matters like the Russia scandal and when extra and when extra and when excised of references to Jews, but they read pretty much the same as the polo, um, polemics. Found in normal conservative publications like the Federalist, Breitbart, and so on, where Nazis were once where Nazi where Nazis were once treated by both parties as an ambig is an unambiguous source of pure evil. Now they inhabit a gray area on the fringe of the Republican coalition. His now infamous description of unite the right um, Nazi protesters uh, as very fine people were not a flubber on off. Fat ass forty five would never come out and praise Hitler, but he was Stokler. He but he would stoke the their race war dreams. They are marginal members of the coalition to be handled delicately. Many fat ass 45 critics have reacted to this development with pure hysteria, which is a perfectly understandable response. 
Given the history, we should be careful not to overstate this situation. The United States is not headed into a world war and, industri and, and industrialized murder factories, but Fat S45 has changed the orientation of the political landscape in ways that include creating a new opening for the far right. He is calling armed men into the streets. That there, that there are pickup trucks bearing the Fat S25 fans itching for blood. One of his delusional idol um, ad um, idolators brought a rifle to Kenosha. Um, and blundered into a bloodbed. The question now is having is now having come this far in four years of, of Fat S forty five. What will I head if we have if we give him four more, um, more 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 destruction, more death, more um more violence? That's basically what it will be. So so if you like the video, give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, Ramblin Mike, and also hit the notification bell so that you be, so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And thanks for listening.